Wagwan Massive, I'm F. Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing on sea moss, what Jamaicans call Irish moss. So, I'll be using both terms interchange interchangeably. And so, I will be looking at how to choose fresh Irish moss, how to properly prepare your Irish moss, and the benefits of Irish moss. So let's get right into the video. So what you're going to need to prepare your Irish mush, you will need gum arabic, icing glass, linseed, and of course, high quality Irish mush or sea mush if you want the best outcome. So on my screen, I have three different grades of Irish mush. To the left, I have the hybrid. In the middle, I have the very low grade of Irish mash. And to the right, I have the very high grade or the premium grade of Irish mash. And that is what you want. But if you look at the color of the premium grade Irish mash, you can see that it is actually deteriorating. It is going bad. And so you really don't want to have that kind of Irish mash. The color should look like those two to your left so what i do first and foremost is to wash my irish mash in running tap water to remove the sand and sediments from the sea so what you're seeing in the pot now is the hybrid irish mash so this is not the original irish mash i'm going to show you the difference with both the hybrid and the original irish mash Irish marsh or sea marsh is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids. It's rich in potassium iodide that helps to dissolve flame. It has magnesium, phosphorus, zinc. It has vitamins and minerals that help to promote healthy hair and skin. So what the water actually does is to rehydrate the moss. So you can see in this section of the video that the moss has been rehydrated. I'm showing in this section stones from which the moss has been pulled and it, it was pulled up with the stone. So you want to ensure that you remove all of this. I ensure that I strain out the sandy particles because the original grade of Irish moss that is pulled from the sea um, it will have a lot of sediments as you see settled in the bottom of the pot here and I just gently swish it around as you can see here again some more debris so you want to remove all of that from your Irish marsh I try to remove as much as possible because I do use the pulp of the Irish mush. I do not waste anything when I'm using it to make my punch or my juices or my smoothies. And so I just have to go the extra mile to ensure that it is very clean. And that's just also one of the reasons you want to prepare this yourself because not everybody's going to put in the effort to ensure that the Irish mush is this clean before they sell it to you. So as you can see, there is more debris and I'm just taking my time to go through and just to remove all of that. So this right here is the, the premium grade of Irish mash. And that is the hybrid grade of the Irish mash. I just put in half a lemon or you can use lime just to soak the moss in it and also to remove the raw smell from the Irish moss because sometimes it can be a little bit raw depending on if you are getting it directly from the sea. I still go ahead again and I try to pick out all the debris from among the Irish moss. You just want to ensure that this is very clean. I leave this to soak for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I just put this to boil after the soak. 
so now what I do is to add this to the pot you can see the icing glass on the top and I just add my gum arabic and I also add my linseed if you don't have linseed you can always use linseed powder or flaxseed powder whichever you call it um, you can use that and I cover it over just to let it simmer the Irish marsh will be cooked in 45 minutes to 60 minutes you also cook this on a very low flame and i stir intermittently just to just ensure that everything just blends in well and everything is well combined you can see where the irish mushroom color has actually changed it is becoming more transparent and this is when you know that your Irish mash is ready. You can also use the fork test to just squeeze the, the pulp and the softness will also tell you that your Irish mash is well cooked. now the mixture once it cools down it's going to get very jelly it's going to be very thick so um you don't need to use a lot of irish mush you can use like about three ounces to a liter of water you store this in the refrigerator it will take a while before it starts going bad so your Irish mush is good in your refrigerator for up to 30 days. And that's it. So I've come to the end of the video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. I need to get to that 100 mark. Remember to subscribe and also share this information with your friends and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.